The death toll is rising in Morocco, now more than 2,800 after the deadliest earthquake to hit that country in decades. ABC's Jay O'Brien has more on the ongoing search and rescue efforts. Search and rescue crews working through the darkness in Morocco after a devastating 6.8 magnitude earthquake, which according to the U.S. Geological Survey is the strongest to hit that country in more than a century. Video capturing the moment the massive quake struck. I'm really scared. Powerful aftershocks continuing through the weekend. The death toll rising Monday with several thousand people dead and about as many believed to be injured, according to state-run television. Remote communities in the high Atlas Mountains taking the brunt of the damage. Rescuers now using helicopters to reach those areas. Bulldozers clearing paths as other teams traverse treacherous mountain roads searching for survivors. This man telling ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge. It was like a very uh, bad dream I like to wake up from. <laughs> Morocco's prime minister saying people whose homes were damaged will be compensated when rebuilding begins. Meantime, tourists in the city of Marrakesh stranded at the airport. And yeah, just everybody going outside and it was really, really scary. We were like shaking for hours. President Biden pledging the U.S. is working to make sure all American citizens in Morocco are accounted for. We're working expeditions to ensure American citizens in Morocco are safe standing ready to provide any necessary assistance to the Moroccan people as well. And despite offers from President Biden and other U.S. officials, a State Department spokesperson confirming Monday that the Moroccan government has not yet accepted humanitarian aid from the United States. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.